to pick up where I left off about what you can't control when I talk about going to sleep, you can also control when you wake up. Waking up is very important. What time you wake up. I set my alarm clocks on my phone a lot because I have schedules I have to maintain. I had to wake up at 3 p.m. today so I could pick up my daughter from school. She gets out of school at 3.30. She rode her bike to school today. Her mother took her to school. And they walked there and they rode bicycles. And I think BMX practice is good for her. It's good for everybody, really. Anyways, it's going to help her on the track. If she can uh, focus on cycling every day. Long story short, though, what I want to talk about is what happened when I got to the school. I got to the school and I was waiting outside the gate. They hadn't unlocked it yet. And there's this woman standing behind me that came up and I already know who she is without even looking at her. She's she's an attractive blonde woman, probably about 28 years old. Probably about 120 pounds. I already know she's attractive, but one thing that she does consistently is she'll come up to this gate and and I'm just sitting on my bike looking at the gate, but she stands up behind me and she's talking to people, she's making small talk and she's just complaining. She's complaining about how hot it is and why does she even live here and you know wh why is it so bad in this place and why is basically she's just complaining about how miserable she is and and she does this every single day and I never talk to her ever I never even look at her um but she's just standing back there talking about the weather and so like like I rode a bike to the school it takes me about 5 10 minutes and it's hot as hell and I'm exercising hard and uh, I'm not complaining about it. Like she drove there in her air conditioned SUV that her probably her husband bought her or her father bought her, and she has to stand outside in the heat for like two minutes, and she's just miserable as all hell. It's completely miserable and just bitching about it the whole time. And it just makes me not want to have anything to do with women like that because it's like it's like you have everything given to you. You know, you can get jobs, and you can, boyfriends, you can have, you have so much, con she has so much control over her life, and, and she has so much, so many things going for her, and she doesn't even know it, and, and all she can focus on is negative, and it just disgusts me, it's really disgusting. It's like, man, like, can't, can't, can't you think of anything positive to talk about, or can you just shut the fuck up? So we don't gotta fucking hear you crying about how fucking hard it is to stand in the heat for two minutes.